Okay, David. Everyone said you were the, the huge threat. That's why they got you out. Let's say you were in the finals with Adam. How do you think the, the jury would have voted? Do you think Adam would have beat you, or do you think you would have taken him down? That's a great question. And, uh, I wish well, thank I... you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. If I'm sitting next, uh, in the final three with Adam, I, I would, uh, I'd be very curious to know who would win. Um, and I... I, the truth is, I, I wish. I think I'm glad he won. So, if I was sitting next to him, I would want him to win because uh, he reminds me a lot of myself. He played a really great game, and uh, I love his story. And so, for him to, to walk away with a million dollars, it's actually it's it's a great thing. I'm I'm very happy for him. Your narrative on the show was, was very. As a TV writer, you couldn't have written something like that from from the guy that was kind of afraid in the beginning to the the power house strategic player was there a turning turning point at all in the show or I mean it, it's it's a combination of things I mean uh, it's basically um, the cyclone put a, a, a pause in the game which uh, gave me a chance to collect myself because I was really paranoid before that it calmed me down a little bit I had some conversations with Ken when the game started up again which I really believe um, that I could trust him and then on top of that I found the idol so those three things I was feeling in a decent place, much better than I was on day one when I was just like losing my mind. Um, so going forward, I just kind of built on that and my confidence started to gain. And uh, and yeah, and once I got to the merge, I felt pretty good because uh, I'm not a physical threat. And generally, you want to get rid of physical threats in the merge situation. I've been dying to ask you a question since like episode four. Okay. When uh, you saved Jessica with the item. Yeah. She goes around the next day and, and show, she shows Ken her legacy advantage. I'm screaming at the TV, why are you not showing that to David? Uh, no. were, were you mad when you saw that? I wasn't mad at all. I mean, I, I understood it. I mean, I, I saved Jessica with the idol and that that, um, that made her trust me. And then she showed uh, you know, Ken her immediate, or, um, advantage and uh, she needed... She had a lot more repair work to do with Ken than she had with me. Um, so I, it, it was the right move for her. And, uh, you know, the three of us trusted each other. I, tr I mean, I didn't trust anyone more than Ken in the game, but I trusted Jessica a lot. And I knew she would probably eventually turn on me, but that was going to be deep into the game. And it wasn't anything that I really needed to worry about. So I, I was totally fine uh, with her just only telling Ken about that. Well, I wasn't fine. I think <laughs> she should have shown you instead. She's uh, an awesome. I love her. Though. I love her. She's great. When you're watching the show on TV each week, what was there one moment where you're like, I, I never knew that happened, and you only learned by watching it on the show? Uh, you know, for the most part, I, there haven't been that many surprises because um, everything, I was, I was always on the right side of the vote, so all those conversations that were happening, for the most part, I assumed were happening. Um, but, I mean, there was one like with Hannah and Zeke by the well, and, and, and when Zeke brought up about me being a threat, and, and she kind of paused. Um, had I seen that for myself in the game, I totally would have played my idol for uh, at that uh, Rocks tribal rather than for uh, for Ken. Because right. um, obviously it was the right move to play for Hannah, and it just didn't work out. And then you never Rocks know. and Jessica went home, and it was awful. But you did still prevent Ken from drawing Rock, so maybe Ken would have drawn the bad Rock. So you maybe saved him. You never know. Yeah, maybe I saved him, and also too um, playing an idol for somebody just it does build up more trust with that person. I mean, I, I felt like. I already had it with Ken, but that maybe just put a little icing on the cake. In the audience, I don't know if you could hear, we were cracking up when you were making the fake idol when uh, when Jay found it. And the whole the way they edited that scene was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've seen people make idols before, but they we've never seen someone make it and then plant it for someone else to find it. How did you get that idea? And did it work out how you thought it would? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's, truthfully speaking, I don't think I'm the first. I feel like that may have happened in uh, Token Shoes. Mm -hmm. um, I can't be positive about that. But in any case, yeah, I, I, I wanted to, going before the game started, I wanted to, to make a fake idol and plan it for someone else to find. And, and originally I was going to hide it in the bag of rice, but when I got in the game and I found an idol and I saw how they were organically hidden in you know, coconuts and driftwood, I thought, well, I should hide it in a coconut. And uh, so, yeah, I, uh, it was just something, I was having some fun and planning a fake idol also prevents someone from uh, looking for a real idol that may actually be out there. 
Um, final question, do you have a favorite moment that you, you will always look back on for the rest of your life and go, that moment? In this game, I do, honestly I do, I'll try not to cry talking about it, but uh, it, it didn't make, well it couldn't make the air, we were, we were waiting to go to Tribal, and uh, it's, I can stay 33, 34, it's pretty deep into the game, and uh, you know, for 33, 34 days we haven't heard any music at all. And, and we're waiting to go into tribal, and, and just in the distant jungle, we hear these like Fijian villagers, like some choir singing, and it was it was like Shawshank Redemption, it was like the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. And you just, I realized that that experience is like, uh, in that moment especially, it made me present, and, and like music sounded better, food tasted better. Now that I'm back, it's like you know you start to get desensitized to all those things, but music sounded so amazing in, in that because I'd been without it for so long. So that I think is my favorite moment, and and Brett, that you know. He, you know, the, the big tough Boston cop guy he is, he, he too, I saw him, like, he, he stood up and he just kind of like walked towards the, where the music was coming from, because it was just this unbelievable relief that we all were hearing. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. We hope to see you again someday on Survivor. Thanks so much. Nice yeah. meeting you. Cool. Take